This is Method 60 Rustic Black Cabinet. And what I have here is a medium oak cabinet door. This is pretty common in a lot of the remodel projects we go in on. This was popular in the 80s and early 90s. So what we're going to do is refinish this to look like an old black rustic cabinet that's been repainted quite a few times. Okay, for the first step in this process, what I want to do is make sure I have a very clean surface I'm working over. So if your cabinets are old and it is a remodel project, you want to go in and make sure that they're clean and free of any dust and grease. And then to ensure proper adhesion beyond that, I'm going to use Fofex Aqua Seal Clear. And what that's going to do is just give me a nice water-based top coat over any varnish surface that I have so that I know my product's going to get good adhesion to it. Now that I have my surface clean and I've got two good coats of the Aqua Seal over the surface, what I'm going to need is Full Effects Cream Activator and any water-based crackle size. And what we're going to do is apply both these products to the cabinet door before we go into our next step. And what that will cause is anywhere we put this size, the next product is going to fracture in those areas. And then anywhere we put the cream activator, it's going to cause the product to actually chip off when we come in the next day. We'll be able to rub the product back off as if the paint had naturally or inorganically fractured off the surface. All right, first I'm going to put on my cream activator. And like I said before, this anywhere I put this, when I come in the next day with a, like a stir stick or a five-in-one, and I rub it over the paint product, it's going to cause it to chip right off. It's going to block the adhesion properties to the cabinet door. So what I need is my cream activator and just a small brush. And when you're doing this, you want to like think about if this was actually an old cabinet door, where would the paint be breaking away? I like to favor all the edges on these perimeters and not go too crazy with the center panels because that's where we're going to put our crackle size and just cause some good cracking to occur. Okay, so I have my small brush and my cream activator. I'm just going to load some of this onto the brush. Like I said, I'm going to favor these corners where I, I think they would naturally chisel off anyway. And I'll just randomly kind of throw some of this on. Favor these edges. This will be nice because when we rub the paint back off, it's going to really just expose this wood underneath in a nice clean fashion like it completely broke away. And, you know, you can kind of go thick and thin on this stuff. I'll go up some of these side rails a bit. And I'm not going to do every corner perfectly consistent. So it's going to look a little contrived. You can throw a little in some of the center of the door. And that's about the coverage I'm going to do with the cream activator. Now what I'm going to do is take a chip brush and I have my water-based crackle size. So anywhere I put this, our black paint plaster product we're going to put over the top is actually going to fracture. In some places, if I put this real thick, it'll pop back off as well. But I'm not going to go too crazy with this. Just random thickness. Just a little bit of coverage. And now what I'm going to do is let this set up for about an hour before we go on to our next step. Okay, now I've let my door and the product set up for about an hour. The next step is going to require Full Effects Crackle Mate and Full Effects Black Onyx Venetian Gem. And I'm going to do a mixture of 70% of the Black Onyx to 30% of the Crackle Mate. And this Crackle Mate is going to cause this plaster to fracture on its own with little hairline fractures. And anywhere that I put the size, it's really going to explode and kind of pop. So we'll get this mixed up and move on to the next step of applying that plaster mix to the door. Okay, so now that I have my plaster mix, I'm going to take an oversized chip brush. Just load some on the brush, and I'm not going to paint this as if I was just painting a cabinet door. This is a thicker plaster, so I'm going to start on the inside area of the cabinet. And what I'm going to do is just kind of load one side of my brush favored and kind of lay that flat. So what I'm doing is I'm naturally not getting full coverage, because we're actually going to do two passes of this so that we can kind of dictate this thing looking rustic. Because what I'm doing is I'm leaving some voids on this pass. And in some areas, 
you're going to put this plaster on pretty thick, like a little over an eighth of an inch thick in areas, because you want it to look like it's been painted over and over and over. And anywhere that I have size or this cream activator, I'm going to be sure and hit those areas. And when I'm brushing on too, you want to, I always kind of stick with the wood grain. So I'm brushing this way on the edges, this way on the flat, and this way on the rails. Okay, now I'll come back in, maybe throw in a few kind of thicker areas, create some more texture. All right, and that's my first pass. Okay, so I've let my door dry overnight, so I've got all my big fracturing, and uh, it's pretty well set up. So now the next step is, wherever we have that cream activator, I'm going to take a 5-in-1, and we're going to start scraping it off, and it should pop right off. That's what the material is going to do. And it might leave a little white residue, so all you need is a rag, a damp rag, and uh, you'll be able to wipe that off too. So I'll bring the camera in a little closer so you can see how this stuff works. Okay, so right here I, I can see that I have some cream activator because it's, it's still white in color. And so all I'm going to do is take my 5-in-1 and drag it over the top. And you can see how I get this cool, clean, crisp breakaway now. So it looks, looks just like it kind of happened organically. And then, like I said earlier, it's going to leave some white residue behind. So I can just take a damp cloth and I can just wipe that stuff off. And then I'm just going to move around the cabinet door and do the rest of the area just by running that 5-in-1 over and scraping it off. Okay, so now you can see I've got all this breakaway and it re-exposed a lot of the wood, but it did it in a real like organic fashion. So now what I'll do is I'm going to go back to the plaster mix, the black onyx that we used, and go ahead and fill some of this in and add a little more texture to it. Okay, so when I brush on the second coat, this is where I can just kind of get artistic with it and if I think there's too much in an area I don't like a particular shape, I can cover that up. And so it's the same process as last time. I'm also going to go back over areas that don't have any breakaway just to give them a little more texture so that when we overstain and we'll do a wax process on this, it's really going to pop that texture out. This is also a good time to bring your client in or make sure they're around, so get their opinion on areas that they don't like particularly or if they think, you know, maybe it's too busy or you have too much breakaway exposed. Okay, so I'm going to let this dry overnight and then we can get on to sanding it and staining it. Okay, now that my second layer of plaster is done, what I'm going to do is just take a 220 grit sandpaper and I'm going to sand the surface, knock off anything that was going to fall off anyway, smooth down anything that feels sharp or rough, and then focus a little on these edges to really kind of bring that wood that's underneath back through.
Okay, now that my door is sanded and I've dusted it off, I'm ready to do the overstain. And for that, I'm just gonna need some shop towels, a chip brush. I'm using Proceed Full Body Glaze Medium and Carbon Black by Proceed. And the mixture is gonna be six ounces of glaze to two ounces of the Carbon Black. So I've got that mixed up here. What I'm gonna do is just apply it to the entire surface and really kinda brush it in well to get it in all the cracks and crevices. Okay, now that my surface is covered with the glaze, what I'm gonna do is just take some shop towel and just start wiping it back off and re-exposing some of that background wood and letting that come back through. And it's really gonna start to make this texture pop. Now we'll just let that set up and dry. Okay, now that my glaze is dry, what I'm gonna do is apply two coats of Modern Masters Dead Flat Varnish before we get onto the wax. And this is just gonna be the protective coat for the cabinets. So just two solid coats of this, and then we can get on to our final step, which is waxing the door. Okay, for the final step on the cabinet door, what we're gonna do is apply Faux FX Old World Venetian Wax, and we're gonna use cheesecloth to do that. This is gonna create a nice uneven sheen over the top of this because we're gonna be able to buff the wax when we're done and any of these raised areas of texture, we're gonna get a real high polish where the recessed areas are not. So even from a distance, it's really gonna create like a lot of pop from this texture. Okay, to apply this, I'm just gonna take some cheesecloth, put it in my wax, and then just cover the entire surface. goes really quick. You don't want to put a ton of this on because if a lot of it gets caught in some of this texture, it'll dry white. And then I'm going to let that set up about 15, 30 minutes and then we'll come back and buff it. Okay, now that my wax is set up, I'm just gonna take shop towel, make a flat pad, and I'm just gonna buff over the surface, and it's gonna cause all those high points to get real shiny, and it's gonna kinda give it a lot more depth on that texture, and it kinda looks like this old antique, you know, been painted a hundred times piece, been waxed a hundred times, and just gives it that nice authentic look. Okay, so that's it, I'm done with my cabinet door. And so we'll get you some close-up shots of this and uh, just a really nice, authentic, old, antique, rustic look.